Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, hopefully I'm going to give you a couple things today that, at least one thing that you can take and it'll help your golf game a little, little more. Okay, improve just a little more here. So a couple things I want to say. This is the beginning of the season, so I'm going to talk about stretching and warming up and doing some stretches. You can do these at home. I do them at home and I do them uh, when I come out before I start swinging and, and, and uh, are playing around. So number one is there's no magic order here, but I like to have to get this club back. I used to do this drill right here where I put it back on my on my shoulder blades. That's okay. But I think I think this is better here under the arms like this. Okay, and I'm coming back because it's it's really getting my midsection, my shoulders, my midsection, and my hips are turning a little bit more here. And when I just could get it up on the shoulders, it's more my shoulders doing it. Okay. The other thing I do is I'll I'll try to stand up and flex my knees a little bit here and try to go down as far as I can. Some of you may only be able to go down to here. Others can go down here. Maybe some of you could even go down here like this. I do this a lot. So I, I can do this. And then when I get here, I want to straighten my legs. So now I'm feeling the stretch here and in my hamstrings. So that's a really good stretch. I'll do that probably two or three times during the round of golf. Okay? And the third thing is uh, when I'm, you know, before, and I usually do this before I play, um, is I'll do the behind my, behind my, under my arms here, I'll do the, what I just showed you, straightening my uh, legs up, straight, getting that stretch in my legs. And the last thing is, this is a great drill here. Uh, going back here, getting the club back behind you, almost like you had a wall behind you, and you're going to go straight up and straight down. And you're going to be using a lot of the muscles that you'll use in your shoulders and your back here uh, for golf. Okay? So this is a great drill. You, again, you can do this at home too. And I try to go up here and just go as, as stretch as far as I can. And again, just go to your limitations. Don't, don't go past that. Okay, now, fundamentals. Okay? It always starts with the grip. And when I was playing the tour, those guys were always trying to work on their grip. Okay, they always want to make sure their grip was great. So when, to do that, to get your left hand on the club, most people put the club too much in the palm of their hand like this. You want to get it in the fingers. And I get it in the fingers like this. I get those three fingers, I, I, uh, they're firm on the club, and then I'll pull my pad of my hand over as far as I can. Now when I first did this, my teacher did this with me, I got my thumb way over here off the club. I asked him, I said, what, what should I do with my thumb? He said, well, just take it and put it on the club like that. So yeah, that's what I did. But you can see my thumb is on the back side of the grip. It's not down the middle, and it's not off the club. In other words, if you're, this thumb is off the side, that's no good. And there, I'll tell you in a minute why, why that's no good. Okay, if you're, if you're taking a full swing, you want to have this thumb on the club like this. Okay, now I'm going to take my right hand, and for those of you that have real small hands, you want to grip this club with your what we call an interlocking grip. So I've got the forefinger of my left hand off the club. I'm going to put my little finger between that and my big finger of my left hand. So this is a grip that I, uh, Tiger Woods used, that uh, Jack Nicklaus used. Those guys had small hands. My hands are, are about that size. I could have done that myself too, but the next grip I'll show you, and I'm not going to show you all the other bad grips. And baseball grip, uh, that's not good. That, I wouldn't do that. If you can play good that way, keep doing that. But I don't think it's as good as these other two grips. The other one would be the Varden grip, okay, and that's a, or the overlapping grip, and that's where this little finger, this little pinky, rides kind of right in between my index finger on my left hand and my big finger on my left hand. So something like this. So then when I set my hands down here on, my, on the club and, and ready to hit the ball, my V in my left hand should be pointing toward my chin for maybe the best players, probably toward the chin. For those of you that <clears throat> are maybe have trouble fading the ball, the V should be pointed a little more toward your right shoulder here. And then I'll put my right hand on here and this V in my right hand should be pointing to the right shoulder. Okay, so now I've got my grip ready to go. 
Now I'm going to tell you why that you need to have this thumb on the club. Because when I swing this club back to the top of my backswing, I want my thumb underneath the shaft. So if it's over here like this, that club's going to flop around up there. You're not going to have any control of that club. You want that thumb on the club. Okay? Now, so that's the grip. Okay, let's talk about the stance. Width of the stance should be about shoulder width from really about a eight iron to a, a, a three iron, okay, or a, a hybrid, you should have the inside of your heels here should be the same width as the outside of my shoulders. So when I used to take a club, I took my longest iron and I put a, a, some cellophane ta tape around it here and I put it across my, uh, my shoulders like this out here and then I put that cellophane tape on there so when I was out practicing I could put this down there on the on the ground and I could tell if my feet were the right width apart or not. That's not an easy thing to do. And I, did, I played too, with my feet too close together for a long time and I played so much better when I played with my feet a little wider. Okay, finally our last couple things. Grip, stance, posture. Okay, let's talk about the posture here. So, uh, I like to have the weight should be on the balls of your feet here. Uh, when I'm standing up to the ball, I want my legs to be fairly... I see way too many people come up and try to play golf like this with their knees flexed too much. Try to get those knees a little bit uh, almost where they're locked and then just flex them a little bit. And then the other thing I see a lot is I see people, they're kind of hunched down over the ball like this. Their chin's down, their head's down. And everybody's kind of, you know, I used to, when I first started playing the game, everybody would say, hey, keep your head down. That's not right. It's keep your chin up, keep your eye on the ball, and if you can, keep your head pretty steady. Those are the things you want to do with your head. But you don't want to keep your head down. So I'm going to try to get my chin up a little bit here and feel like my chest is back up this way. I don't want to be standing here like this. So I'm going to be something like this, standing up to it. So the grip, the stance, the posture, and now the alignment, okay? So I've got these balls lined up here in a straight line to the target. I wish I'd have known about this when I was playing the tour and playing college golf. And, um, you know, I got hurt, so I'm not sure. We'll never know if that would have made a difference or not. But I love this because if I practice most of I practice all the time, or a lot of the time, not all the time, but... A lot of the time with these two sticks down or two clubs and that's great but I think the balls are even better because now when I stand here like this I know exactly where my club where my target is if I did my did this right and I take my time and do it right but that ball right there is pointed right at the target so my club face should be pointed right at that target okay and then when I swing the club back when I swing this club back here, I want that club to go just a little bit inside here and then coming back through the ball here, coming, uh, feeling like I'm going through the ball just slightly to the right here and into that finish, okay? So, <clears throat> and by the way, one of the things that I'm, you can't tell from that side, I'm going to say the last thing that I try to do is when I swing this club that I want to have, when I swing back, I'm going to go back here like this. I want to get my left shoulder stretched behind that ball, okay? And I'm not talking about getting here and lifting your clubs up, your hands up there, and taking a big swing. I'm talking about getting your left shoulder back behind the ball. And then when I come back through the ball here, I want to go here, and then I want my shoulder to go on through on the other side. So to wrap up, grip, stance, posture, those stretches, really good thing. I'm going to take a swing here, and the reason I told, the reason I mentioned to you, see, when I'm standing over on this side of the ball, when I first started playing golf, I thought I was supposed to go straight back and straight through to the ball, but I'm not standing on top of the ball. I'm standing back here. So if I make a natural move here with my, with my left hand, my left arm, my left shoulder, my left hip, when I go back, if that all goes back together, that club's going to swing a little bit in this way. And then when I swing back to the ball, I want to swing from that position right there into the finish. So let me see if I can try one here. Oh, that wasn't too good. <laughs> well, we can cut that off. We'll cut that off. 
by the way, now this that was that sh last shot. I'm not that great at kind of talking through that whole tip and then walking up here and hitting the shot. So I used to be able to do that really good, but anymore I don't play in practice as much as I'd like to. So we're gonna go one more shot here and see if I can do this a little better this time here. Well, that was a little better. Thank you for your attention today.